Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix Windows if it's experiencing problems updating. So if you're experiencing problems that the Windows appears to be stuck while it's trying to run an update, this brief tutorial will hopefully cover and address those issues. So pretty straightforward tutorial I have in store for you guys today. So we're going to start by heading over to the start menu and you want to open it up and then you want to type in services on Windows 10 should be listed right above desktop app earlier versions should not say desktop app you want to left click on that so the first thing you want to head to is background intelligent transfer service which should be near the top you want to stop the service either by right clicking on it or clicking up it here where it says stop the service once that one is stopped, we have one more we want to stop as well. And that would be to head down to the Windows Update service. Right here. I'm going to stop that one. Okay, so once you stop that one, you can close out of the services window, and then you want to open up File Explorer. You can search on the start menu, or you can go through the File Explorer icon in the taskbar if you have one. And we're going to navigate over to our C drive. So I'm going to go through this PC on Windows 10, and then I'm going to access our local disk. So once you've done that, you want to double click on the Windows folder. And then you want to scroll down until you get to software distribution and you want to double click on that. So you want to delete all of the entries in here. So just highlight over everything and then either right click on them all once they're highlighted and delete or hit delete on your keyboard. We can see it. It's a better idea. Okay, so once you're done doing that, we can close out of here. And now we're going to navigate over to our web browser. I have a link to a Microsoft diagnostic tool through a Fixit utility. I believe it's now called Easy Fix or something like that. And it's from Microsoft. So what we're going to do is once I've given you the link, it's going to ask you what do you want to do with this Windows Update Diagnostic file. You want to save it. And then once it's finished saving and downloading, you want to click on Open. Depending on what web browser you're using, it might look a little bit different. So this will help us troubleshoot and prevent different computer problems, at least that's what the description says. And what we're going to do is select next on this window and it will begin scanning for potential conflicts that are creating our issues with Windows Update. So we can see there might be an updated troubleshooter available and this one happens to be for Windows 10. So if you're using an earlier version of Windows, it's not going to have one that's built in. More than likely, I, I believe that this is a newer thing for Windows 10. They're actually building some of these things into Windows 10. If you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, you would just follow along with these instructions. I don't think it would have this on here, of course. But I'm going to run the Windows 10 troubleshooter, which should look pretty much the same that you guys who are using earlier versions should have as well. Just this one's built into Windows 10. So we're going to select next to begin running this diagnostic tool. Okay, so we can see that the troubleshooting tool is completed. The troubleshooters made some changes to your system. You get some information about the problems that were found right here. And you can also view more detailed information right here if you click on that. But for the purpose of this video, I would say once you're done running this utility, go back and try and run Windows Update again. And hopefully it should work for you guys without too much difficulty.
So I hope this brief tutorial worked for you guys and helped you out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.